Hey everybody, Miss Hannah here. I hope y'all are all having a great Wednesday. Um, We're going to continue tonight, of course, with the life of Jesus because it's Wednesday night and we do have an experiment tonight. You don't need much for it. It's actually a magic trick. We need a candy bar, just a Hershey's candy bar. You can get a milk chocolate one. I know there's cookies and cream or there's Hershey's with almonds. So there's all different kinds. It doesn't matter what kind, but just a regular size Hershey's candy bar and a butter knife or a plastic knife and a plate possibly. Um, it's, you're gonna have to cut the candy bar. So it may be a little messy, but that's optional. You don't have to have it. Um, but let's get started tonight so we can get to this. Um, we're going to be in Luke tonight, Luke chapter 9, and we're going to talk about Jesus feeds the 5,000. Now, this story is in all four Gospels, so Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and it's one of the few uh, miracles of Jesus that's actually in all four Gospels. So, But we're going to read it out of Luke. It's only, I think, seven or eight verses, so I'm just going to read all of them out of the Bible tonight. Uh, Luke chapter 9, starting in verse 10. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Let me bring my PowerPoint up so that y'all can follow along with me because uh, I'd like y'all to read it. But if you want to follow along in your Bible, of course, you're more than welcome to. Let me share my screen with you so y'all can see. So Luke chapter 9, verse 10 through 17. When the apostles returned, they reported to Jesus what they had done. Then he took them with him, and they withdrew by themselves to a town called Bethsaida. So, but the crowds learned about it and followed him. He welcomed them and spoke to them about the kingdom of God and healed those who needed healing. Late in the afternoon, the twelve came to him and said, Send the crowd away so they can go to the surrounding villages and countryside and find food and lodging, because we are in a remote place here. He replied, you give them something to eat. They answered, we have only five loaves of bread and two fish, unless we go and buy food for all this crowd. So let's stop right there for a second. So Jesus and his disciples have gone out again, and crowds followed him like they did most of the time. And he's preaching to them. And it's late in the day when they're all, and the disciples come to him and say, okay, Jesus, send the crowd away. It's time to get something to eat. And we're in a remote place and there's nowhere to eat here. There's no way we can feed these people. They need to go to the village so they can find something to eat. So we need to just send them on their way. And in one of the other books, Jesus actually tells them that they need, it's they need to find a way to feed them. He, he says here, give them something to eat. And one of the disciples in one of the other books, uh, the gospel says it would take a year's wages to feed this many people. And the disciples go out and they actually find a little boy. It doesn't say that in Luke, but it says it in one of the other ones. And the little boy has five loaves of bread and two fish. Now, a loaf of bread then is not as big as a, like our loaf of bread that we buy at the grocery store. If you look at the picture on the screen, it's more like a dinner roll. So like if you go out and you are to a restaurant or something and you get a roll with your meal or, you know, usually at holidays. I know my family usually has rolls at holidays or maybe like a, the size of a biscuit because they're not really big. And then two fish. So that's not very much food and this was this little boy's lunch so this is what they bring to jesus and say this is what we have this is what we found five loaves of bread and two fish so let's see what happens verse 14 about five thousand men were there but he said to his disciples have them sit down in groups of about 50 each the disciples did so and everyone sat down taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven he gave thanks and broke them then he gave them to the disciples to distribute to the people. They all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. So there were 5,000 men there. And that does not include women and children. So 5,000 men plus women and children. So they're not even included in that 5,000 number. And they have these five loaves of bread and two fish to feed all of these people. And Jesus tells his disciples to separate everyone out. So put 50 people in each group. So just put them all around and put 50 here and so forth until they're all separated out. And Jesus took the, the bread and the fish and he, thanked, he said a blessing over it and thanked it, the Lord, you know, God for what was provided. And then he gave it 
to the disciples to distribute to all these groups of 50. And it was multiplied enough. The Lord prayed and it was multiplied enough that there was 12 baskets full of leftovers. And these people ate until they were full. It doesn't say that everyone got a little bit and they left hungry. They left completely satisfied. They left full. And this is an amazing miracle. I know most of the miracles we've talked about before are Jesus healing people. And that's what mainly when we talk about Jesus's miracles, we think Jesus healing people, Jesus walking on water, but this shows something a little different. If you think about things that we have to have, necessary things we need, we need food, we need water, we need shelter, and we need clothing. And this goes to show that Jesus can not only provide big things, but he can provide those little things that we need to. It's not just about healing, and it's not that the Lord can only provide healing, or he can only provide big things to us. He can provide food. He can provide water if you need it. And these little bitty necessary things, the Lord can provide those as well. So the Lord can do so much small things, itty bitty things, or really big things. It doesn't matter what it is. The Lord can provide. And the ultimate thing the Lord provided was his sacrifice. And we have to remember that the Lord was the, he, his ultimate a uh, gift, his ultimate sacrifice that he gave was his life for us, each and every one of us. It doesn't matter who we are. It doesn't matter what we've done. He died for you and he died for me. And that's the exciting thing is that's the greatest gift, the greatest thing that anything could give us. So he gave these people food. He's given healing. He's provided us with, with jobs and with money and places to stay and places to live, but he also provided us eternal life, salvation through him, where we can go and be in heaven with him forever. And how exciting is that? Is we can go to him when we have needs and he will provide. It may not be in the ways that we want it to be. It may not be exactly what we want or when we want it, but you know what? He will provide. And you have to just remember, like I said, he provided the ultimate gift, the ultimate sacrifice for us. And we have to be so excited about that. It's Jesus died for us. So like I said, he can provide tiny things, little bitty things, or he can buy around really, really big things. So isn't the Lord just wonderful? So, so wonderful. So I have a magic trick we're going to do tonight. Let us pray. Get your Hershey's bar. If you don't have one, maybe someone will get one from the dollar store or something for you because this is a really cool, cool magic trick that you can show your friends or anyone, maybe your older siblings or somebody, your parents, and tell them the story of Jesus feeding the 5,000 because it goes right along with it. I'm going to have two people with me tonight, hopefully if they're not too scared, and I might bring Lindley, my daughter. Um, she may pop in the camera just for a second. So let's say a prayer and get started on our experiment tonight. Dear Lord, I just wanna thank you so much for everything that you provide for us. You provide water and food and shelter and sunshine. And just, there's just so many things, Lord, that we forget about that we wouldn't have if it wasn't for you, Lord. But that ultimate gift, that ultimate sacrifice you paid for us when you died on that cross, Lord, we just, I just can't thank you enough for that because I know now that I can spend eternity in heaven with you. Lord, be with each one of us through this time, Lord, this difficulty. Lord, as, as things start to go back to normal, Lord, just be with each family member, be with each child. Lord, be with our church. Lord, let us come back together soon so that we can see each other's smiling faces, Lord, and give each other hugs and just spend some time together. Lord, thank you again for today and for everything you do for us. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. So give me one second. I'm going to go get my cousins and Lindley maybe, um, and we'll get started on our magic trick for the night. Okay, everybody. So we're about to get started on our experiment for the night, and I have some helpers here. I have Kenzie over here, Faith. Y'all have seen her before. And Lindley, of course, which I don't think Lindley's going to make it through the experiment with us. So can you say hey to everybody, Lindley? Can you wave? 
Lindley, can you wave? Wave at everybody. Wave at everybody. All right, so let's put Lindley down and get started tonight. So like I said, all you need is a candy bar and a butter knife and we have ours just sitting on paper towels. So we have, Kenzie has a cookies and cream Hershey's bar and Faith has just a regular Hershey's chocolate bar. And if you'll look, we're gonna cut our, our chocolate bar and here's what, how we're gonna cut it. So if you'll look, there's just a line we're gonna cut across. I already cut Faith. Let me show y'all what hers looks like. And then I'm gonna show y'all again, I'm gonna cut, cut Kenzie's for her. So here we go. So we just got it cut for now. And then we'll break a couple pieces apart. So don't break pieces apart yet. So let's cut Kenzie's. Y'all can see everything. All right. Okay. Can you see it, Faith? Yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna cut it right across here. Y'all can see. You just need a butter knife, but you may need a little bit of may need a little bit of moving to get through it because if you got either one with cookies and cream or one with almonds. <laughs> so you have yours right there. So we're going to break off pieces of it. We're gonna don't eat it, Faith. We need it for our experiment. So see what we got all right so we're gonna break off the longer side two pieces nars broke a little bit there okay so we're gonna rearrange this chocolate bar kenzie you want to break yours off yeah, kind of, yeah. okay you wanna, we're gonna rearrange it break yeah, those two end pieces off yeah, right there. You need, you're gonna might have to cut it might have to cut it or uh they might not break even so just cut your two pieces off like that so if we were at church i would leave this with y'all and i would say okay i'm going to give y'all two minutes to try to make a a bar a hershey's bar with ha by having one piece left over so make a complete bar and then have one piece left over and i'm going to show y'all how to do that tonight kenzie do you think you can do it okay Faith. Faith, do you want to see if you can make a Hershey's bar? Yeah, yeah. Okay, see if you can make one. Can you make one? Make a put a make a Hershey's bar. Can you make it a complete chocolate, a whole chocolate bar? Yeah, yeah. Do it. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? No, you can't break it. Oh, that's okay. So I'm gonna show y'all because Faith broke heart hers, but we're gonna put it right here. Slide that piece down. <gasps> and then put this piece that has the little corner on it right there. And like I said, ours broke off a little bit. So Kenzie, we might be able to make the whole one with yours. So there's our whole chocolate bar and we have a piece left over. And if you'll remember tonight, we learned that Jesus can do unexpected things. And he was given those five loaves of bread and two fish. And there was food left over. And he fed over 5,000 people with those five loaves of bread and two fish, he multiplied them and there was food left over. Look at that. So Jesus yeah, can do yeah. a really unexpected thing. Kenzie, yeah, you do yours? So let's do Kenzie's. Hers, yeah, is yeah. A little, hers is a little different because hers has the cookie crumbs in it. So if you'll move it down to there and then put the piece there, if y'all can see it, we have a whole chocolate bar with one piece left over. So show your friends if you need me to. I'll put up the little map um, that shows how to cut it. But if you look on your Hershey bar and if you cut right below the S on the, t on the, the second piece and then right above the H and cut a diagonal that way, then you should be able to do it but it hope that all go, uh, fits in with our lesson tonight for you and maybe you'll remember the lord can provide no matter what we have and he can do unexpected things i hope y'all hope y'all all have a wonderful wednesday night and i'll see y'all sunday morning we're gonna finish gideon and also 
Um, we're having a children's committee yeah. meeting tomorrow oh, night. Yeah. <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> night to talk about VBS. So I have more for yeah, you boy, Sunday yeah. about VBS. Hope y'all have a good Sunday. night. Tell them bye.